Hello, Buzz and Gods, my name is HotzelC, and welcome back to Baldur's Factorium, where I am still crafting the uh, blue uh, bottles so that we can research the electric furnace. But while doing that, we had visitors, some aliens chewed away on these pipes, and looking at the pollution, yeah, it's a bit larger than the last time uh, we did clear this out. So I think first thing I should do is uh, make a round uh, to uh, clear out any nests in or near the pollution zone. And until that time, we should also have crafted or finished crafting the um, the blue science packs. So, if I can find my car, and we will just add more coal here, and then. I will hopefully be back uh, once I dealt with um, our alien friends. One round trip later, I can see we have expanded the uh, area that we can see a bit. And over here, there are two nests uh, left over because they are a tiny bit uh, on the large side. We have to be uh, careful there. Uh, but I think once we get into uh, military science, then we can uh, get better equipment. But now I do have the uh, necessary um, blue uh, science packs that we can uh, put in here and they get distributed and we can actually start researching uh, where is our furnace there that's what we want and then we probably will continue with the remaining red and blue i mean there are still some good things in here uh, we also can then unlock the military science pack and that will it probably be uh, research wise for a bit because we then have to automate all the other science packs. And for the entry here, for the, for the green science train, I found this uh, quirky thing where we can sneak in the train in front of the red one. Um, however, the red one cannot leave while the green one is sitting there. So that's probably uh, a problem um, for um, uh, enough time. Now, if we set these filters as well, we get even more um, labs doing the research. Um, and move it up here as well so i am thinking that uh, we only pass the uh, all the signs around the outer edge and then up and down here in the middle so that here we do not pass them uh, horizontally only vertically uh, there and yeah uh, let's wait for the uh, research to uh, go through and then we can see 
how we can actually set up a furnace array with the new electric furnaces. It took so long to craft the uh, furnaces that uh, all the basic uh, research with red and green is through and we could now even have uh, the uh, first grade of the modules. We do have a bit of uh, uh, blue bottles uh, left over, uh, but let's not go into that. And I think we will uh, maybe not stand on the rail and then see. Um, iron plates we're producing 9000 we are using 4000 copper the gap is actually smaller so i think we will build a new furnace array for copper and we will do it down here and as the electric furnace has the same layout as uh, an assembler machine, we basically can use the same system uh, and we can use the system that we have up here for the uh, copper wires because we only have one input, one output. Uh, however, here is the copper wire. We can optimize that because there, I'm just too lazy to walk up there. We can move that part down and then we have space for another part up there, bringing up the total to 24 furnaces per square which is quite solid and once we have done that then we have to figure out how to set up the trains because uh, the schedule will change as we do have uh, then basically two loading stations and two unloading stations. And uh, yeah, we will, we will come to that once we have uh, put in all the rails, inserters uh, and, uh, and so on. I think that's it. At least everything is placed. Question is only, is it placed correctly? And we will try to find ourselves a copper ore train. That one, for example. And then copper field. Uh, waiting copper or smelting we need to remove the last two copper or smelting one um, item count um, copper or Um, one thousand. Um, and then copper or smelting two empty cargo, and then we have the fueling station it's the time passed of five seconds and 
this one we need to remove. Okay. First train comes. Um, but we do have the wrong order there. Okay, now that should work. Then let's find all the trains that go to that. Uh, station we will copy this train schedule copy it on this one and on this one That should mean this train, this station here, has no more trains. Which is fabulous. All the trains go to the new station down there. So, in effect, we have uh, reduced two uh, copper ore squares into a one there we had uh, that was 12 so 24 smelters in total we have 24 down here they have the same uh, speed so bottom line it should come out the same way Uh, and here we are not unloading because the train is not even full. Uh, probably the same thing was true there. Yeah, and it looks like that one was half emptied. So that then means uh, once. Uh, we have, uh, let's remove those, uh, that the signals for uh, the empty stations is not counted. And then we have to just let all the copper ore that's still sitting here smelt, load it on trains, and then we can uh, also send the copper plate trains to the new stations but for that I guess I will need quite a bit of uh, coal because while building up the, the new smelting block uh, I did neglect uh, the fueling of the various stations so I will have to do that and then we will go around and uh, change the train schedules for the copper train as well once they are ready to go to the new station and here we have the first station that is completely empty of uh, copper plates with a train still waiting there. Uh, let's remove that and then let's see how we do set up this. We de the loading is the first so we can actually uh, have this here at the end item count um, less than 2000 copper plates um, 
should be the opposite of the delivery, right? And then we have copper plate loading two. Uh, that is then full cargo and we remove that station. Nice. And we can remove this here and we will have to deal train by train because I think if we look here we have probably a few that are just uh, the same way as the one we just did but then this one and I would think there is another one um, that loads copper plates and iron gears and not only uh, copper plates. So here uh, at least we have smelted everything so we can clean this up as well. So we are now only waiting on the loading. And we have quite a bit of uh, copper uh, sitting there. Smelting down here has also happened. So here, oh, yeah. This one. Let's reduce that to 300. as well because then a train will come to pick things up and here also a few things more smelted it's just the one that we will see that one done soon as well. Up there we see we have now a train loading. So yeah, let's do the remainder of the trains uh, set up for those. And uh, then we will end this episode by having a look at our new furnace array uh, working at hopefully full capacity. While we are waiting to uh, for trains to pick the remaining copper up, we can also uh, look at these trains. Those are the two that have the gears and the and the the, the copper plate set up. So. Here we are lucky once again, uh, copper plates are at the beginning, so we can just stick it at the end there. Um, item cargo in total we want 2000, so On the first one we load 1000 and then on the copper plate loading 2 we will have full cargo. And then we remove that one. And That's the one we just set up and that's the other one and we seem to have a slight issue with the uh, 
It's the destination for the train fueling because there are trains waiting there. Okay, here we are also done. We do have. Okay, I take that with me. It's not worth having a train for that. And up here we are also pretty much sorted. Can remove all these rails. And can then repurpose um, this square once we have cleared everything. We can speed that up. And now we need a train. This one. That we can copy from. It's not this one. It's this one. So let's copy that over to this one and let's go to to the waiting station and we can clear up all the poles here and once the train has left we shall also remove Rails. Um. Yeah, looks like a bit of a deadlock situation, so let's move that back and that has that sorted and we can remove that part of the train of the rail okay we still have two trains trying to go here and I think one is definitely enough there so let's make it like that and you stay at this and uh, then once the last train here um, comes around for the loading, we then can uh, uh, set the, the last train with the proper uh, uh, schedule as well. The old copper smeltery is gone, both of them. And now we have this new one which is going full throttle uh, we don't need to uh, uh, come around putting in more fuel and that should uh, end up with a more stable uh, situation where we have less fluctuation uh, based on missing uh, resources
uh, so we will probably still have fluctuations uh, because we cannot get the resources delivered fast enough but that's another problem uh, something else that we will have to tackle at some point is the fueling setup because I see that we do have uh, occasionally uh, deadlock situations or yeah something similar um, because um, trains want to uh, refuel and get stuck on the train so we can think of uh, different options how to deal with that but I think now that we have done the copper smeltery we'll tackle the iron smeltery next but not in this episode so hope you enjoyed it and tune in next time for more beltless factorio until then goodbye